Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper mill. And we won the die rolls, so we're gonna jump right into this. I did fix the sideboard um, a lot better this time, I think. Uh, at least it's a lot cleaner. Uh, I'll show you that in game two here when we go to it. Let's see, we'll keep this, sure. We'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Let's go Merfolk Secret Keeper first. Start things off and see what we're up against. So I'm still going mono blue for now. I know some people were suggesting the splash of like black, even green. Uh, I still want to try out the mono blue. I haven't play tested it too much. So before I switch into dual colors, I want to give mono a chance. And uh, looks like we're going against some Delver. So we're not going to be helping their deck at all. So we're going to definitely want to sideboard in our relics uh, next game. This might be a pretty tough matchup. Uh, but we do have relics on the sideboard now. We've got a, a couple other things that could help us quite a bit as far as like bounce spells and some other dispels and things like that. Uh, let's see here. Well, you know what? I think we're just gonna go for it here on this side. Maybe we'll even try to race a little bit. I'm not seeing, I see a Mystic Sanctuary, Backwater. Um... Yeah, let's throw let's throw down our Jace's Phantasm so we can start applying some pressure here. Might be a good win con. There's the aqueduct. Alright. So that's good. Get some early pressure going. Alright, a ponder, huh? Hmm. Well, let's kind of wanna just put out a drowner initiate and just to play around any edicts that maybe they're playing with. Because uh, I don't want them to just kill off the Jace Phantasm willy-nilly. And then let's set up our next turn here. And we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Oh, we have to choose target. Say okay. Say no. Ponder. Alright. Secret Keeper, Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, that'll go on the bottom. And we'll do, do it like this. No shuffle. We'll draw the Tome Scar. We'll have Merfolk Secret Keeper next turn. Uh, we will start applying the pressure. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, they definitely could get out a, a Gurmog right now if they wanted to, but it looks like they're going to hold up some counter spells. Which, if they want to do that, no big deal. Uh, let's see if we can... Uh, let's swing first. See what they want to do. Gonna take it. Alright, let's do a Venture Deeper. See if they want to counter that. Uh, we could just Drown or Initiate to work around any counter spells, but I don't think we will this time. In the future, we might want to. Alright, so they're not going to do anything with that. Let's just go ahead and play... Play another Drowner Initiate? Sure, let's go oh. out and put him out. I think that might actually come in handy for future turns. When they do start counterspelling, we'll still be able to mill him. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Sorry. have to do this, like, twice over now. I should, uh, say same target on these. Pretty much always going to be milling them. Alright, so what are they doing here? Counter target creature spell, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. They're taking back Augur. Okay. Uh, that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Let's say... Always yield. Uh, just say save targets. Yeah, save targets. Uh, but we're going to say no. Say okay. And say no. And say okay. Alright, well they're at 9 life. So, Jace's Phantasm. Going to be pretty handy in this matchup. Might even sideboard in the Shriek guys. On these guys. Uh, oh, they're going to take them out. Alright, good deal. And they'll gain a little bit of life with the Radiance. And they'll go Augur. Say no, but he is going to come in handy in the late game here. Because they're going to be playing those blue spells too. 
So even if we go empty-handed, we can still mill them when they play stuff. Still 34 cards. Um, still got a lot to do here. Haven't seen any Gurmogs in the graveyard yet. There's our Mystic. They are tapped out. Uh, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Say okay. Let's go. So we're going to say no to that because we're going to time twist. There we go. Say okay. Say no. All right, 26 cards. <clears throat> and now we can... Uh, I'll probably just keep up all my mana if we don't draw anything crazy. I'll just keep up all my mana for their blue spells, our blue spells. We'll just mill them slowly with Drown or Initiate. Uh, won't block here. We'll take the beaten. Let's pull this out really quick. I want to check this out. So we did hit one Gurmog. Chainer's Edict, which they could flash back. Oh, Brainstorm. Okay. Hmm. We could attempt the Brainstorm. Sure. And, uh... I think we'll pay once for this. Looks like they're going to counter. Well, see, this is okay. This is good. Now we can pay twice for Drowner Initiate. So we'll say yes. And we'll still get the mill going. One more Drowner Initiate trigger. Say yes. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, cool. <clears throat> Not worried about putting down the Secret Keepers yet. Uh, but 20 cards in the graveyard. This guy's milling for two every time. So, uh, now they're going to Agony Warp that. Yeah, they're starting to realize. <laughs> starting to realize what uh, potential this has for them. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Alright, so, Agony Warp. Preordain, sure. So, they're sitting pretty on all their Gurmogs still. They're trying to dig for something. Get in there. Now we are empty-handed. Now we can just out start counterspelling everything. There's a mind sculpt. Let's see if we can bait something. I don't know. Put down a blocker. Uh, I don't think. Let's see, do they have duresses? Haven't seen a duress or anything yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait till they tap out to do the mind sculpt. I'm not gonna play into a counterspell here for a mind sculpt. We'll just go like this, and we'll pass the turn. That's fine. They're going to draw some cards. Preordain. All is well and good. There's the Gurmog. We were waiting. We were waiting. Still got six cards in hand, so you know they've got counter spells. Let's see actually how many. They have one dispel in, two dispels, one deprive. Yeah, I mean they still got they still got counter spells they're holding up, so. Alright. Now we're starting to flood a little bit. Let's go ahead and pass. We're gonna take some hits from Gurmog. They're at 15 cards though. I mean we could pull it off if we can just get around their counter spells. Uh, which is why we've got the dispel in the sideboard. It's pretty nice. Start chump blocking with Merfolk Secret Keepers eventually. Probably next turn. Start chump blocking. Jace's Phantasm. Well, they're going to want to counter that. Let's see if we can. Okay, they're going to they're gonna let that resolve. There's no way they don't have counter spells, and they know their graveyard is, uh, their library is getting 
low. So I'm guessing, I'm sure they have an answer for Jace. Yeah, I, I can't play into the counter spell yet. We just gotta wait. We got a few turns. I need to gather a few spells up before uh, we can really start pulling this down. Yep, Doomblade. That's what I figured. All right. Um. Uh, yeah. We'll, we're just gonna take one more hit from this. We'll start chump blocking. It's gonna be rough though, since they do have these, the chainer edicts they can flash back. They, if we block one, they can chainer edict and then like swing in or something. Mall drifter. Drawing the cards, not exactly what I want to see here. Do we have a time twist in the graveyard? Can't see my own graveyard right now. We do have a dream. We have a we have a dream twist in the in the graveyard. That's good. So I think we'll try to do that at end of turn. Another Gurmog. Let's see here. Forgot about the dream twist. Can't forget about that. Hey, let's do it. Let's try to ponder. See if we can draw another card here. All right, so Memory Sleuth. Very good. We could get him, got him right here. So I think we'll go like this. Say no. We'll try to Mind Sculpt them. Give me a counter. Only have one counter, please. Yeah, you gotta counter this. So Deprive, sure. Now we'll cast with Conspire. We'll see if we can get them here. This is this is all or nothing right now because we're tapping out for this. So if they've got another Dispel, then uh, it won't be pretty. Same targets. Okay, looks like we got it. Very nice, all right. We got game one. Sweet, we just passed to them and uh, we'll go to game two. Awesome. All right, so here's our sideboard. A lot cleaner than before. We've got two Dispels, which we are going to bring in against them because we want to kind of have counterspell battles. Uh, Chronic Flooding, Enchanted Land. Whenever it becomes tapped, it puts top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Into their graveyard. Um, this might be good against things that run low mana, uh, things like Infect and that such, uh, where maybe they've only got a couple and they'll need to use it, or possibly even Tron if they're stuck on one piece of Tron, they can't find the other, it might be able to be useful. We'll see. I could, you know, take it out eventually. Uh, Echoing Truth. Uh, we all know Echoing Truth. Return target creatures. Snap. I think Snap will be pretty good here, so I'm going to bring that in. And the Relics. Uh, we'll take out the Curses. Maybe Drop. Uh-uh-uh. I, I really did like the Drowner Initiate in this matchup. Maybe drop a Jace and a Secret Keeper. And... Hmm. What else? Do we need both the Snaps? I think it'll be get good against the Gurmogs. If they do end up getting a Gurmog down, we just bounce back to their hand, then they can't unnecessarily play it um, if we're exiling stuff with Relic. One more card, huh? All right, I say we... Uh, we could drop a Ponder, I guess. I don't really like doing that. I don't know. Man, we might be able to even get away with dropping a land, but I don't want to go too crazy. We'll just try it like this. We'll see how we do. Um... I mean, we'll... we'll keep it we got a card draw it's not like the best hand in the world but we've we've got some plays do have some plays but now we are hmm, getting flooded a little bit so let's just play the drowner we'll start getting him in for some value hopefully okay cool 
<laughs> I don't know why they didn't want to play. Uh, but this is what we were drawing for the next few turns. So we were drawn into a Dream Twist. Probably would have Dream Twist Thought Scour uh, or Tome Scour. Had a Phantasm, but I guess they didn't want to play against our mill. Uh, which, hey, we got them first game, which is pretty impressive considering we were feeding their graveyard and giving them Gurmogs, uh, essentially. Uh, so it's kind of a bummer. I would have liked to have seen how the rest of the game would have played out, but maybe they couldn't have played. I think I'll still post this one because it was a good first match, and it does show that we can play against um, UB Delver, uh, especially in a mill when we're feeding their graveyard, uh, when we don't have any graveyard hate until we get to sideboard. So we got Snap from the sideboard. I don't like drawing this deep in, but we were coming up on a Relic, which would have been very nice because more or less with this, you probably just want to crack the Relic right away. If you, Let's say five cards, seven cards. I mean, we would have had like... 15, 16, 20 maybe cards in the graveyard by the time the relic came around. Bam, pop that relic. Don't let them have any Gurmogs, you know. So, pretty good game though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's a little bit of a shorter one. We'll just call it the best of one on, the, on that side. Arena style. Go arena style on that. But hopefully you guys are enjoying. Let me know what you guys think about the revised sideboard and any changes you might uh, make. Oh, was there something? I think I forgot something. Oh, I built, a, I built an Infect deck too just for funsies oh there was a card that i wanted to put in here actually um what is it chained chainer i did get that one right there was another uh one of the ones that taps uh the creature costs one brown and one uh white blue mix color uh, it, it's an enchantment or a card that taps target creature and it, it keeps tapping at their upkeep. So it remains tapped basically, which I think will be good for aggro, which is my biggest fear with this deck is not being able to compete with the aggro. Uh, so we got things like the echoing truth. If they've got multiples on the board, that really helps us a lot to pop those back to hand, the snaps as well. But I do think that other card, which I got to find it, uh, pretty sure I purchased it today, but that one I think will be good too. Just tap down the creatures permanently uh, will help us with the race at least. Uh, but let me know what you guys think and what other th suggestions you guys had. Like I said, I want to stick with Mono Blue for now. I'm not opposed to doing the uh, the splashes. In fact, I already got the, the bounce lands for them so we can play those eventually over time. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like, leave a comment, and we will see you guys in the next video.